I missed a week, had the flu, still kind of have a head cold, but I missed you guys. So welcome. I hope you enjoy the visit. See you in a minute. Hi. I just thought I would do a clip and show you how good Precious is doing. She's such a good little dog. Rescuing senior dogs is a very good thing. She is so affectionate and she's fit right in. Yes, I know. You see this old lady? Yeah. Huh. Yeah, she's a good girl. She's a precious, precious. Okay. Well, it's been a couple of weeks and it's been a pretty <laughs> rough couple of weeks. But here in New York, I guess lots of people are getting the flu. They're saying it's influenza B, which usually doesn't show up until around March. So it's kind of thrown the medical community a little out of step. Oh well. I have still been stitching. It isn't all I've been doing, but I'll share more of that later. Um, yeah. And I did show you my way I'm going to do my um, like project keeping for this year. And it's in this Martha Stewart three ring binder. And I showed you this setup in my last video. And it's working out really well. I did update my monthly uh, progress plan, uh, chart because I had started it out just as a regular um, page like this, but this really didn't work for me. So I've gone back to just using a sheet of graph paper and doing it the way I've been doing it previously, putting each of my projects down, the dates are across the top, and just coloring in uh, what I'm working on and making a note if I wanted. And that's working out really well. I'm really enjoying that. Um, and I've listened to quite a few books this year too, so I am keeping track of that. Although I am on Goodreads and I will link my Goodreads down below if anyone's interested. Um, yeah, I really like Goodreads. Uh, between Goodreads and the Overdrive app, which is my library app I use, um, I'm really um, keeping up with reading, which is great. So I think in my last video, I showed you that I had completed the January ornament out of the Just Cross Stitch uh, Christmas book for 2019. And I was really happy with that because that's a sale every month. There's a different ornament selected by the just cross stitch along um, Facebook group and uh, run by Joanne Perry. Hi, Joanne. And uh, yeah, it's a lot of fun. Uh, of course, I never remember to post anything. Um, that's a failing of, on my part. I'm not really a big online maven. I wish I was. Uh, I have posted a couple of things to Instagram in the last couple of days, but None of my stitching, and I really, really want to get better at that. And I've watched a lot of floss tube, and I keep hearing people talk about all these groups that do homework. And I would love to participate in that, but I don't know about you, but as soon as I tell myself now that I have to do anything, especially like homework, it's like, I don't want to do that. I don't feel like it. And I do something else. When I was a kid, it was different. I loved my homework. I, you know, I was always on top of everything. I did extra. I was always competitive that way. But now I just, uh, yeah, I want to do something else. I barked into my own drummer now. That <laughs> go me. Um, I did finish part one of the Ingleside Imaginarium Mystery Sal. Uh, I haven't finished all of the... Um, Orders yet, and I don't think I'm going to. I think I may just do a little bit of that every time I pick it up. And I apologize if there's cat hair and dog hair on here, but I haven't felt well, and I've been sitting downstairs on my sofa and uh, stitching in hand as I always do. And <laughs> the animals have been stitching with me, but I will show you part one. 
And this is just a piece of tea dyed, I think, what did I say this was? Is this Monaco? I suppose this is where you have to go in the bag and, and, and find the information. I have to admit, I'm not, I am not doing real well there right now. But I did put some different colors in this, um, no, it's Lugana. I stand corrected. It's tea dye Lugana that I've also added some other colors to. And I finished part one. And this is called the Kaluna Bright Burns Catalog for Familiars, for Witches Familiars. And that's part one. So I finished that, and I really enjoyed it. I like those blue candles. They're pretty cool. Um, maybe it's appropriate that it has dog and cat hair on it. I have a whole bunch of familiars. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Excuse me. Anytime I cough like that, I can't seem to help it. Just comes out, which is good, I guess. I have been blessed in that I haven't had to go to the doctors. And I haven't gotten any prescriptions. I did have someone ask me if I'd gotten a prescription for Tamiflu. But I don't like any of those medications. I will have to be honest. They all kind of scare me. So I don't do that if I can possibly help it. And, uh, yeah, so it's been kind of a rough 2020 so far. Let's see. What did I do after I worked on, finished that? I think I better look at my book, my notes, because the month has been a blur. Okay. Then I worked on Napoleon Bonaparte, because I will tell you, I successfully downloaded Pattern Keeper. Uh, I love it. I, I love it. I mean, it isn't like earth shattering, but I will say that it's a lot nicer to not have the color squares in. And so far I have three Hades in Pattern Keeper, which is my, one of them is my Napoleon Bonaparte. And I just want to, I guess I'm not going to get to the front screen. So just, uh, never mind. Um, suffice it to say, Pattern Keeper is great. I know that I picked this up just to try Pattern Keeper. Um, my, uh, I had some difficulties downloading my patterns, but it wasn't Pattern Keeper. Um, installing the um, files that I needed to install in order to get the Play Store and uh, the Pattern Keeper onto my Kindle was really easy, and that's all in the Files section of the Pattern Keeper Facebook group, which is great. They're incredibly helpful. Um, lots of really help. My problem with Pattern wasn't with Pattern Keeper. It was with Dropbox. And I wound up having to buy a subscription payment for Dropbox so I had enough space to put patterns in. And I've never used Dropbox before. But when, once I bought Dropbox, the subscription, I didn't have any trouble after that. So I guess they just wanted me to commit some money. But anyway, here's Napoleon Bonaparte. I think he's a gorgeous. It reminds me of my Basset Hound Doak, who lived to be about 15 years old. And as you can see, he's a mini. And um, the artwork is by Christina Hess, who's a fabulous artist. And it's charted by Michelle Sayetta. And I did a whopping 35 stitches. But this was me trying out Pattern Keeper at a point when I was feeling pretty, pretty bad. So 35 stitches, it's like a couple of shades of brown. I'm not going to move my needle. So yeah, um, hoping to get back to this again because I, I love this design. I love um, animal patterns with human characteristics. Uh, I just think they're fun. And of course, 
I love animals anyway. Uh, so, yep. So, as uh, the second one I worked on since the last time I saw you. And then, I have too much stuff as usual. And after Napoleon, I did a new start. Haha, ha, I snuck one in. This was a new start that I started, I think, on the 18th, maybe. Yep, 18th. This one, you might remember, I bought this while I was in New Jersey at the New Jersey Floss Tube Retreat. I had never seen it before, but I loved it at first sight. And it's by Primitive Hair, and it's called Mother of the Ocean. And that's what it looks like. Absolutely beautiful. It's got DMCs and Threadworks and um, Gentle Arts. And, uh, of course, the one Threadworks doesn't seem to exist anymore. But it looks like something I can replace with Krynik. So I will replace it with a black, glittery Krynik. And I didn't get too bad of a start. That's what it looks like. I'm starting to do the word mother because I want to get down to where the whale is. But I just love it. I mean, it's got the Big Dipper, and it's got whale constellation, and a whole bunch of stuff. And that's just part of my favorite thing. And this fabric is 18 count Opalesa Ada, and it was part of a fab, uh, Fiberlicious Fabric of the Month back when I was getting Fabric of the Month. It's really pretty. It reminds me of like a morning sky and pinks and blues and it's beautiful and it has a copyright date of 2019 so it was fairly new when I got it. So I'm really happy to have started it already and I look forward to doing more on that. This is a really good stitch, a fun stitch. Oh, and then after Mother of the Ocean, I worked on Simply Meant to Be. This I put into Pattern Keeper, and of course I already had a page finish and part of the second page. So it came down to that I had already put in like 6,500 stitches, which was cool. I do like Pattern Keeper in that I don't count stitches, but in Pattern Keeper, in the key, it tells you how many stitches in each color there are in the project. And then as you, you know, you search the color, and then as you mark off the stitches as you do them, it counts down. And then in the left-hand margin, it shows you um, how many stitches you've done for the day, and it shows the percentage complete. And I think right now, simply meant to be a 7.5% <laughs> complete. But this is uh, simply meant to be. It's a heaven and earth design. And it's charted by Michelle Sayetta. And right now I can't think who the artist is. Let's see if I can find that quick. Does, um, artwork is by Sherry Gerhardt. And it's, it's fun. Jack Skellington and Sally and Zero and Mr. Oogly Boogly. And let's see if I can get to show you where I am. And I'm doing this as an unofficial, well, stitch along with uh, Daphne Mama Metzger and uh, Eclectic Reads. And that's how far I've gotten. And I will say that I think I put in like three or four hundred stitches into the mood. So I'm working over towards Jack Skellington's head, which is kind of exciting. And that needle minder I got from Daphne Mama Metzger. Thanks, Daphne. That was. I really love it, and you can see there's a Christmas tree on the back um, from Nightmare Before Christmas. Uh, so that was fun. So I will be working on more of Simply Meant to Be. And I think it's it's especially fun that it tells that Pattern Keeper tells you how much your how much of your design has been completed too. That. Uh, is really helpful. I seem to be having a problem keeping all my pieces together. And right now I can't afford not to have my, my act together. <laughs> okay. 
this isn't going to be a really long video. I just wanted to catch up and say hi. And I've really been enjoying Lost Tube videos. I haven't been leaving a lot of comments. Because I've been kind of sitting with my feet up on my sofa. Just kind of petting my dogs and my cats. And letting it roll. Um, let's see. So after Simply Meant to Be. This was yesterday. Uh, on the 20th. For New Year, New Start. So on the 20th of every month, I want to do a new start in honor of the new year. And so this, I pulled out an old stash Goldie. And it's uh, by Charles Wysocki. And it's Frederick the Literate. And it's a dimensions kit. I love it. And it seems like it's going to be a really great kit to stitch, which makes me especially happy. Uh, and my piece of cardboard here. Now I did put my arrow that shows me the top and I went through the all of the motions of measuring this fabric and I am really glad I did because there's only like an inch difference <laughs> oh, excuse me between east and west and north and south so and there's where I started and it's the shelf that the cat lays on so this is cat ears and that's a cat paw. And I've got all the way over. So in usual fashion, they've left about an inch, inch and a half. That side's probably around an inch. So yeah, it's a tight squeeze. But I'm really enjoying this. Um, I think I'm going to have a lot of fun st stitching Frederick the Literate. So Pretty much what I've got done right now is just a couple of lines that go right down this shelf. It is just so cute. Mary Rose, couching. I'm going to do a lot of couching on this one. <laughs> Thanks for that video. Uh, if you haven't watched Mary Rose's videos on couching um, and gridding, I have to say I'm too lazy to grid, but I think it there have been times when I've partially gritted just so I can get myself back on track. Um, so she's got very good videos on that. And whenever I think of my Australian friends like uh, Mary Rose or Belinda, the Aussie stitcher, I think of those awful fires going on. And my heart is with the people and with the animals. And... Uh, it is such a sad situation. So God bless Australia. And with saying that, that was it for my stitching so far in the last couple of weeks. Not too shabby. I did have a couple of things I bought. Um, Heaven and Earth Designs had a sale. <laughs> and I said I wasn't going to buy any more patterns because... I have a lot of Heaven and Earth designs, patterns, charts, and uh, someday I'll show you. I'll run through and show you the list. I'll show you the ones I've started and the ones I have in, in my backlog. 10 or 15 extra lifetimes. But I couldn't resist this. There was actually a clip that showed the artist who is uh, Dakota Detweiler. Uh, painting this little koala and it was fascinating and she painted it specifically for this Australian uh, pro project and it was beautiful and they put this up this was not on sale this was a full price full-sized Hade so for $19 to contribute to Australia uh, you could buy this chart and I don't know it might still be available if it is I will try and link it below but uh, not sure when I'll start it, but I just think he's beautiful. And my heart breaks when I think of, of the animals in the brush. Or bush, I guess. And while I was there, since I had a sale, I bought two more. I bought an ornament size. Actually, I bought two ornament sizes. So I was a little bit reasonable. This one I got because my daughter, well, both of my daughters love Maleficent. And I thought she was beautiful. And she uh, 
has, she's at 300 by 298, so she's going to be 12 inches by 11 and 7 eighths inches on 25 count. So she's an ornament size, but that doesn't mean she's small. And uh, she has 24 colors, and it's by Mayumi Ogihara, Ogihara. So she's beautiful. And I look forward to someday maybe starting that. And then this one I've looked at forever. And you might know I love Lisa Parker's work because she does a lot of cats. So I bought her. It's called Hubble Bubble. And I just think it's beautiful. And it has green in it. Green and cats. And bubbles. Couldn't be happier. I think that's going to be beautiful. This one's more reasonable and I might actually get started sooner because this is only an 8 by 8 inches. <laughs> so it's not too bad. But it has 87 colors. You know, I guess you give and you take. Now, the finished size of this koala, this is a regular size haid. So this is 18 inches wide by 24 inches high, and it has 86 colors. And that's on 25 count Lugana, or Ada, whatever you like to stitch on, I guess. But um, I'm going to show you his sweet little face one more time. And it's called Sad Koala. So, yeah. <sighs> Just beautiful. I uh, haven't really bought any other stitching things. I wasn't feeling good. I had that flu bug. And so I did take the opportunity to stitch a bug. I don't know. You could call it a stitchy bug. I was thinking more like a flu bug. <laughs> but let me show you. Now it's a beaded brooch. And that's his face. You see his little bug eyes. And this is his beaded back. So he's got two sets of wings. He's got beaded wings. And then he has a net, net wings with beads. And these are both wired. And then it's on a cabochon, a yellow stone cabochon that has a peyote stitched bezel. So, my beaded bug. It's got some sequins and some beads. He's all decked out. I guess if you're going to be a bug, you might as well be a beautiful bug. A blingy bug. <laughs> and that's what the base looks like. Um, it's just felt and a, a pin. So you can wear him, like most of the things I make, either as a, a lapel pin or on a bag or a scarf. I just think he's gorgeous. I got the idea from YouTube videos, but I went off on my own. This isn't a pattern. It's just me um, making it up. I think I got, I saw the original is beautiful. I mean, the original person who does a lot of these is Marina Ravina, I think, on YouTube. And again, if I think of it, I'll link those her video down below. It was it, it was beautiful. Let me tell you. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, <clears throat> so, I think my voice is going to fail me. I know there was more that I wanted to talk about. Oh, while I was making my plants. Now, oh, I should say this. I should. Bear with me. Sorry. The 25th is coming. And as you know, that's the start of the Chinese New Year. And this year is the year of the rat. I said that in my last video. So I'm going to be uh, starting on the 25th. This is a... I guess it's... Is it JU Design? Uh, and it's called My Little Mouse. And she's on Etsy. And you can... Buy this on Etsy. If you think of it, I'll link it below. <laughs> I'm putting a lot of confidence in my, I'll link it below. But I'm going to do this one on this 46 count. <laughs> Wish me luck. This Weigart um, Bergen Linen. And I think it's called, is it called? Grandpa, Gram, Grandma Slip. And it's just a little tiny piece like this. And I'm hoping it's big enough. But this is Grandma's Slip by J.U. Design. 
And I think that'll be a lot of fun. I don't know. 46 count fabric it might not be so much fun, but we'll see. And then I, um, I also wanted to say that the Chinese New Year is actually a spring festival. And in China, this year will be 4,718. So think about 2020. They're on 4,718. And the year of the rat is the final year in a 12 year cycle. So, um, and I did not look up to see what the other animals are. I know the last year that they're coming out of is the year of the pig. So, um, yeah, I just thought that was kind of interesting and fun. So, if you would like to join me in a rat sal, um, let me know and I'll come up with a hashtag because uh, it's not just squirrels. Uh, I mean, it's not just mice and rats. It can be squirrels. And I'm also planning to start winter squirrel at some point uh, in the near future. And uh, yeah, so I think that that will be fun. I was thinking about starting this because it looks nice and small and kind of cute and I thought it would be kind of a pretty Valentine's Day start. It's called My Pink My Pink Rose and um, it's Blackbird Designs. So, I don't know. I might start this. I'm not really sure. Um, I, don't, I think I picked this up down in New Jersey too. The pattern's really small. I would definitely have to uh, blow that up. That's a little bit beyond my sight. Um, but it's... I'm trying to see the size. It's a 73 stitches wide by 98 high. So it's not real big. And the design size... Um, and it's stitched the... Um, Model stitched on 32 count Belfast Petty Point. So it's got the the Swiss dots on it. I don't have any of that. But I think my LMS Bat and Kill Stitchery might have it. So once I feel up to leaving the house, maybe I'll go over and see if I can buy some of that from Deborah. Uh, but yeah, so that's some of the plans I've made. I'm a, I pulled out a bunch of stuff yesterday. I was feeling a little bit antsy. Huh, it's longer than I thought it was. So I pulled out a couple of bins of my um, charts to see what I had. And then I was thinking, I've done Rudolph and Vixen of Christmas Eve Couriers by Nora Corbett. Um, so I might do Comet next, simply because he's nice and sparkly. So I think when I get down to it, I'm going to maybe work on Comet. And I will probably do him one over, or two over one, like I did Vixen. And I'll do it on the same fabric, which is this 18 count pearlescent Ada, which is darker than it's showing on my screen. But um, yeah, I have kind of a, had a big piece of this. So this will be the third reindeer that I'm stitching. So, Comet. Comet is coming up in queue. Not sure when, but he will be the next reindeer I do. And I really don't have a rotation set up. You saw I had a couple of new starts already, and I have a planned new start for the 25th. And um, February is freebie February, and there is a Facebook group for that. I do belong to it, but I don't post. Um, but I was looking through a bunch of free cross-stitch patterns that uh, I found before. I've had books of free cross-stitch patterns. That maybe I could start something from a free stitch. Although I do have my share of <laughs> whips on the go already. So I've got to figure out how to work all those in, too. So, yeah, I've been busy, and even though I haven't felt that well. I've still been a little crafty. And uh, 
I hope that you're doing well. I hope the fires aren't too close to you if you're in Australia. I know we have those kind of problems in Arizona and California, and it's always scary. Um, I know there was fires in Arizona one year that got as close as two blocks away from my daughter's house. But she was blessed, and uh, they were able to contain it. It's really sad. Uh, anyway, before I get off on another tangent, be well, stay calm, God bless you, <laughs> as Cinderella's mother says, be kind and be courageous. And as I say, be colorful. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Happy stitching. Shoot. There is something else, and I forgot entirely. I was asked to show some of my crocheting. And if I feel guilty that I work on some of my projects and I don't get to others, and I don't really feel guilty. I do try to figure out how I can make more time so I can do everything I want to do. Um, I've got this piece that's crocheted behind me, which isn't really a blanket. It's more like a throw. And I was going to give it to my daughter, but then I came up with another idea. And I had started a navy blue mile a minute afghan, which I didn't like, and I need to rip out and start over. And then I thought I would go and look and see what else I could find. And I realized I had given a lot of my blankets and stuff away. I've made scarves and hats for my grandchildren over the years. And I even have, and I did look for it, <laughs> one of those, um, is it called alligator scales? That I did for my granddaughter that was supposed to be a skirt. I mean, it's probably this big. And she's 14 years old now and bigger than me. So, yeah, it's been around a while and I can't find it. So... I will look and see what I can find. Um, you've brought out my crochet bug, though, because now I want to crochet some stuff. Um, I also have plans to maybe do some, not quilt quilts, but like quilted throws for my furniture, um, because the dogs are wanting to sit on the furniture all the time. And I have a bunch of mismatched blankets that I thought maybe if I make a couple of quilted throws, it'll at least look nicer than mismatched blankets. Okay, so that's it now. God bless. Be colorful. See you later. Bye. <music>